Hi, in the previous video we have discussed two line coding schemes that is unipolar NRZ and polar NRZ. So in this video we will continue with the line coding schemes. So in this video we will study two types of polar line coding schemes that is RZ and biphase. And in biphase we have two types that is Manchester and differential Manchester. So as discussed in the previous video, there are five types of line coding schemes that is unipolar, polar, bipolar, multi-level and multi-transition. The first one that is unipolar we have discussed in the previous video. Then the second one polar has three types. The first one of polar that is NRZ we have discussed in the previous video. So in this video we will discuss the other two types of polar line coding schemes. So polar has three types that is NRZ, RZ and biphase. The first one that is NRZL and NRZI we have discussed in the previous video. So in this video we will study RZ and biphase. So first let us study RZ. RZ stands for return to zero and there is a transition in the middle of the bit. So we can see that there is a transition in the middle of the bit. So in RZ a bit zero is represented in this form which looks like an opposite Z and it is on the negative side that is below the reference line. And a bit one is represented in this form which looks like a Z and it is above the reference line that is on the positive side. Now say for example we are given the digital data as 10110001 and we need to convert it into a digital signal using RZ line coding. First the bit is 1 so it will be represented in this form which looks like a Z on the positive side. Then we have a 0, so it will be represented in this form which looks like an opposite Z on the negative side. Then we have a bit 1, so again it will be represented this way which looks like a Z. Then again we have a 1, so again it will be represented in this form. Then we have a 0, so 0, so it will be represented this way that is like an opposite Z on the negative side. Then we have a 0. So again like an opposite Z on the negative side. And then last we have 1. So again in this form which looks like a Z. And since it is a signal we will have to connect these lines. So after connecting we will get this form. So we can see that in RZ there is a transition in the middle of the bit. So this is the digital signal for this digital data using RZ line coding. Let us consider another example. Now say suppose the given data is 01 000 101 and we need to draw a digital signal for this data using RZ encoding. So we know that for a bit 0 it will be represented in this form that is on the negative side and for 1 it will be represented this way that which looks like a Z on the positive side. So first we have a bit 0. So for bit 0 it will be represented this way on the negative side. Then we have a bit 1. So for bit 1 it will be represented this way which looks like a Z on the positive side. Then we have 0 so it will be represented this way which looks like an opposite Z. Then again we have a 0 so again in this form. Then again another 0 so again same form which looks like an opposite Z on the negative side. Then we have a 1 so it will be this form on the positive side. Then a 0. So again this form that is which looks like an opposite Z and then last we have a bit 1. So this form which looks like an Z on the positive side. And since it is a digital signal we will have to connect all these lines. 
so after connecting we will get this digital signal so this is the digital signal for this digital data using rz line coding so under polar we have discussed nrz in the previous video and rz in this video so now let us discuss biphase line coding under biphase first let us study manchester line coding so manchester line coding combines the logic of rz and nrzl that is in rz there was a transition in the middle of the bit so here also there is a transition in the middle of the bit and in nrzl 0 was positive and 1 was negative so over here for 0 it will start from the positive side and for 1 it will start from the negative side so bit 0 will be represented in this form that is there is a transition from positive side to negative side and it looks like a z and 1 is represented in this form that is there is a transition from negative side to the positive side which looks like an opposite z and also in Manchester there are two conventions that is IEEE 802.3 and Thomas convention so this is according to the IEEE convention the Thomas convention will be just the opposite of this that is 0 will be represented like 1 and 1 will be represented like 0 let us consider an example say for example we are given the data as 01001111 and we need to convert it into a digital signal using Manchester line coding according to IEEE convention so we know that if the bit is 0 there will be a transition from positive to negative and if the bit is 1 there will be a transition from negative to positive the first bit is 0 so there is a transition from positive to negative which looks like a z then the next bit is 1 so there is a transition from negative to positive which looks like a opposite z the next bit is 0 so there will be a transition from positive to negative side then again there is a 0 so again there will be a transition from positive to negative then next bit is 1 so there will be a transition from negative to positive then again there is a 1 so again transition from negative to positive and then again there is a 1 so again there will be a transition from negative to positive and since it is a digital signal we will have to connect these lines so after connecting we will get this digital signal so this is the digital signal for this digital data using Manchester line coding so let us consider another example so we are given the data as 1001100 and we need to draw a digital signal for this data using Manchester line coding so we know that if the bit is 0 there will be a transition from positive to negative that is in this form in the form of a z and if the bit is 1 there will be a transition from negative to positive that is in the form of opposite z. So first the bit is 1 so there will be a transition from negative to positive then we have a 0 so there will be a transition from positive to negative and the next bit is 0 so again there will be a transition from positive to negative that is in the form of a z then the bit is 1 so there will be a transition from negative to positive then again next bit is 1 so again same form that is in the form of opposite z that is a transition from negative to positive then again we have 1 so again from negative to positive then we have a 0 so a transition from positive to negative and then last again 0 so again transition from positive to negative and since it is a digital signal we will have to connect these lines so after connecting we will get this digital signal that is this is the digital signal for this digital data using Manchester line coding so under biphase we have just discussed Manchester line coding now we will study differential Manchester so in differential Manchester a bit 0 may be either represented in this form or in this form that is it may either start from the positive side make a transition and return back to the positive side 
or it may start from the negative side then make a transition and return back to the negative side and a bit one may be represented either in this form or in this form that is it may either start from positive and make a transition to the negative side that is in the form which looks like a z or it may be represented in this form which looks like an opposite z that is it may either start from the negative side and make a transition to the positive side now when to use which form that depends on the signal so we will see that with the help of an example so we can say that this differential manchester combines the logic of rz line coding and nrzi that is like rz it will have a transition in the middle of the bit so we can see that there is a transition in the middle of the bit and like nrzi zero meaning no transition and one meaning a transition that is if the bit is zero and if we start from the positive side it will return back to the positive side similarly if the bit is zero and if we start from the negative side then it will return back to the negative side whereas if the bit is one and if we start from the positive side then it will make a transition and go to the other side that is the negative side similarly if the bit is 1 then if we start from the negative side then it will make a transition and go back to the other side that is the positive side so let us consider an example so suppose we are given the data as 10100 and we need to convert it into a digital signal using differential manchester so we know that a bit 0 may be represented in any one of these forms and also a bit 1 may be represented in any one of these forms depending on the signal so the first bit is 1 since it is the first bit we may either start from the positive side that is in this form which looks like a z or we may either start from the negative side that is in this form which looks like a opposite z so over here we will assume positive logic and start from the positive side that is we will use this form and then it will make a transition to the negative side the next bit is 0 and for 0 we know that we can use any one of these forms but the signal is ending here and we need to start from this point that is from the negative side so definitely among this we will use this one because this signal is starting from the negative side so we have used this form that is the signal will start from the negative side make a transition and return back to the negative side next bit is 1 and we know that for 1 we can use any one of these forms but the signal is ending here and we need to start from this point that is from the negative side so among both of this we will use this one because it is starting from the negative side so this bit 1 will be encoded in this form which looks like a opposite z that is it will start from the negative side and make a transition to the positive side the next bit is 0 and for 0 we have to use one of these forms but the signal is ending here that is at the positive side and we need to start from this side that is from the positive side so among this we will use this signal that is this form because it starts from the positive side so zero will be encoded in this form that it will start from the positive side make a transition and return back to the positive side the next bit is zero and the signal is ending here that is at the positive side so we will have to start from the positive side so among this two forms we will use this form because it is starting from the positive side so zero will be encoded in this form that is it will start from the positive side and return back to the same side so this is the digital signal for this digital data using differential manchester let us consider another example consider this is the given data that is 010011 and we need to convert it into a digital signal using differential manchester first we have a zero and since it is the first bit we may either start from the positive side or from the negative side 
so we may either use this form which starts from the positive side or we may use this form which starts from the negative side so over here we have assumed positive logic that is we will start from the positive side that is we will use this form so the signal will start from the positive side make a transition and return back to the positive side the next bit is 1 and we know that for 1 we have to use one of these forms but the signal is ending over here that is at the positive side so we have to start from this side so as a result we will use this form because it starts from the positive side so 1 will be coded in this form which looks like a z that is it will start from the positive side and make a transition to the negative side next bit is 0 and since over here the signal has stopped at the negative side we have to start from the negative side so among this we will use this form because it starts from the negative side so bit 0 will be encoded in this form that is it will start at the negative side and return back to the negative side next bit is 0 again and since the signal has stopped at the negative side we have to start from this side so among this we will use this one because it starts from the negative side so again 0 will be encoded in this form that is it will start from this point and return back to the same side the next bit is 1 and since the signal has stopped at this side we will have to start from the negative side so among this we will have to use this form as it starts from the negative side so this is how 1 will be encoded that is it will make a transition from negative to positive and which looks like an opposite z next bit is 1 again and since the signal has stopped at the positive side we will have to start from this side so among this we will have to use this form because it starts from the positive side so this is how 1 will be encoded which looks like a z that is it will make a transition from positive side to the negative side so this is the digital signal for this given digital data using differential Manchester. So let us revise in brief what we have discussed in this video. First we have discussed polar RZ wherein there is a transition in the middle of the bit. So 0 will be represented in this form and 1 will be represented in this form. Next in biphase we have discussed two types that is Manchester and differential Manchester. In Manchester, 0 will make a transition from the positive side to the negative side which looks like a z and 1 will make a transition from the negative side to the positive side which looks like a opposite z. And in differential Manchester, 0 may be represented in any one of these forms based on the signal. Similarly, 1 may be represented in any one of these forms depending on the signal. The other types of encoding schemes we will discuss in the next video.